USA Football presents Two Minute Drill. Hi coach, welcome back to Two Minute Drill. I'm Andy Ryland. This week's question comes from coach Steve Isaac, who talks about how to stop the wing T offense. So let's address how to stop the wing T with a 4-3 7-man box. Coach Isaac's defensive restrictions say that no defensive lineman can be aligned over the center. This means his defensive tackles have to be on the guards or wider. All safeties must be 10 yards back. This makes it really difficult to get the extra eighth defender in the box when facing a power run personnel. Let's look at some of the ways we would do this. There's two main areas you need to think about defending when stopping the wing T team. The first is this inside area. I would start by aligning both my tackles head up on the guard. On the snap of the ball, I have them penetrate through the A-gaps. The second major area of concern is the actual wing itself. One of the ways I like to defend this is by moving my defensive end to an inside shade of the tight end, what I call a 6 eye. What this does is eliminate the hard double team that can make a short edge. On the snap of the ball, he'll attack through the inside shoulder into this gap. The next thing you deal with is the wing back itself. I prefer to do this with the Sam linebacker, but in Coach Isaac's league, his linebacker has to be five yards back. So you can think about walking your cornerback down. Having your cornerback align over the wing allows you to have him penetrate this gap and create a big bubble. What this bubble is going to do is the famous buck sweep series will now have a hard time getting outside. The reason I suggest this is because Coach Isaac told me he really likes to blitz his corners and have his safety play contain over the top. Finally, look at how we deploy our linebackers. I like to cheat my linebackers over to the strong side. I'll stack my Mike linebacker here, my Sam linebacker here, and my Will linebacker here. To complete it, we'll have our defensive end here and our cornerback here. We hope that attacking the inside area in the tight end wing gap, as well as using fast flow linebackers to fill the bubble, can help your 4-3 seven-man box stop the wing T. Remember, having to stay in a 4-3 means you're short a man, so make sure your backside safety is always playing the cutback. If you'd like to see an offensive or defensive system you'd like some pointers on or help attacking, hit us up on Twitter, at USA Football. Remember to use the hashtag, Two Minute Drill. You can also submit your questions at the USA Football Facebook page. As always, Coach, we appreciate you watching and good luck this week.